Hello everyone. In today's video I am going to show what type of variations we usually find in the first lower molars. The most common thing is that the first lower molar has three root canals, one distal and two mesial. Then there are many variations. Below I present the first. The first variation is a third canal in the mesial root. Commonly called middle mesial. Middle mesial canal is sometimes present in the developmental groove between MB and ML canals. Some studies tell us that this canal is present in 2 to 7%. This MMC canal is normally narrower than the rest of the mesial. It usually joins a canal, although sometimes it usually has an independent exit. For the identification of this MMC, one must rely on multiple radiographs, cone beam computed tomography, and another form of magnification aid such as loops or dental operating microscopes. The middle mesial canal is hidden by a dentinal projection in the mesial aspect of pulp chamber walls. To find the middle mesial canal, the first thing we have to do is work on the mesial canals. Then, clean the isthmus area using ultrasonic and heavy irrigation to get a clearer view that makes it easier to pick up the middle canal. The second variant is when there are two distal canals. According to a Cantata study, distal roots in ethnic European have one single canal in about 70% of teeth. The remaining 30% have two canals and appear this way. The access opening of the pulp chamber should be adjusted to locate the two distal canals. In my experience it is usually the disto buckle. To locate the two canals it is important to know this law of endodontic anatomy. Here I show you a case where this law is shown. Basically it says that if we find a distal canal that is not centered in the root, we should suspect a second one. The symmetry, the shape and position of the canal orifices and the development root fusion lines should be evaluated. In this second case we see that the distal canal is centered in the root. Normally, if there is only one orifice it is usually wider, whereas when there are two, they are usually narrow. Another variant is the presence of a supernumerary root located distolingually called radix entomolaris or mesiobuccally called radix paramolaris. The rate of occurrence in Caucasians and Africans is less than 5%. In Chinese population there are ranges from 5 to 30%. In general radix is smaller than the distobuccal and mesial roots and can be separate from O partially fused with the other roots. The orifice of the radix entomolaris is located mesiolingually from the main canal. A dark development line on the pulp chamber floor, explored with endodontic probe, can indicate the precise location. 